What's up guys, Justin DiGiovanni here, and in this video, we are going to be cleaning the camera sensor using swabs and solution. So, let's go! So on my last video of the external flash using all the sunflowers and like the rainbow and such like that, which I'll post it right here. <laughs> um, when I was editing those photos, I noticed a bunch of spots on it. So one of the photographs I'll show you, you'll see all the spots in the photos itself. And then what I'll do, I'll show you uh, me using the spot removal and how many of those spots you'll see that I ended up removing. It is ridiculous. I'll show you guys those photos here. First things first is have a fully charged battery. That way you have enough battery life to keep that mirror flipped up as you're cleaning it. Because you don't want to have a like low battery and you're in the middle of cleaning it and then that mirror decides to flop down. That's oof, oof, oof. Yeah, I definitely don't want anything like that. So definitely have a full battery when you're cleaning your sensor. So now that you have a full battery, Let's go ahead and take off the lens. Uh, <laughs> There's inside the camera itself. Uh, inside is the mirror of what you see. So in order to flip that mirror up, we need to go into our camera settings. You're gonna be going into your sensor cleaning. You could go into auto cleaning. You go into clean now and then clean manually. When you do go into clean manually option, it will say mirror will lock up. After manually cleaning sensor, turn off power to off. So in order to get that mirror to flip back down, all you need to do is just uh, turn the power off on the camera and then it will close back down. When you hit OK, the mirror will flip up and then a curtain will drop right behind it exposing the heart of the beast the sensor. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and hit OK for that mirror to flip upwards. Oh. There it is. That's the heart of the beast right there. <laughs> so after you get the swab out, uh, make sure this section right here doesn't touch anything at all besides a solution. Um, if you get it dirty or if you drop it, you're gonna have to like throw it away because you don't want any kind of contaminant on the swab itself because you're putting it on the sensor. Um, so if you do drop it or anything at all, throw it away. But um, what we're going to be doing is going to be adding a few drops of solution onto the swab itself. There's really no set in stone of like how many drops you're supposed to add it, but enough to cover the tip of it. So go ahead, take your swab, stick it in there very, very carefully. Go right on the edge of the sensor. Go ahead and start sweeping over. So it's from left to right. Go ahead and take your swab, flip it over, and then from very carefully put it back in, to put it on the edge of the sensor. Go from right to left. Woo. Once you're done, go ahead and assemble your camera, or go ahead and put the cap back on the camera itself. And then you're almost done. So what I would do to kind of like test it out, I know a lot of people will take pictures of like something white, like a white sheet of paper, but to me, I feel like the blue sky is going to be a lot better because you, you know, like a white piece of paper, you don't know exactly what's on that white piece of paper. Um, you could think it's a spot, but it's actually part of the paper. 
Um, when I take a picture of the sky, there's nothing in the sky besides the color blue. To me, my eyes can actually pick that up a lot better if I was to photograph the blue sky versus like a white paper. It definitely comes out really, really different. Find a blue sky, like no clouds, no nothing. Um, and then you're gonna go into uh, your aperture and get a small aperture, so like f16, that way those spots can actually stand out or a little bit more sharper versus like a 2.8 on the f-stop. F-stop on like that wide, it'll kind of blur it out. So definitely hike that number up. If you want to go to like f22, that's fine too, because you'll actually see those spots. So um, I wouldn't really recommend zooming in either. Um, just keep it at the widest point on your lens and go ahead and take that photo. Nice. Okay. And then what I would typically do after I take that photo, uh, take it and throw it in Lightroom. Alright, so I got the photo in Lightroom just to make sure that there aren't any spots at all. Um, it's pretty much a blue sky. Now I'm kind of like zooming in into like different areas and definitely like scoping it out from like every inch to make sure there's no spots. Um, there's a better way of catching these little spots. It's a spot removal tool. There's a shortcut. Hit the letter Q and that'll bring up your spot removal and then hit the letter A. What this does, this actually goes in and you can see like the screen turning black. This goes in and actually picks out those spots a lot better. So if you see any uh, spots in your photograph, uh, go ahead and repeat the process of cleaning your sensor. And then I'm pretty sure like after the second one, you guys should be pretty pretty good on uh, any spots at all. I hope you guys got something out of it and if you have any questions about cleaning your sensors, um, let me know down in the comments and I'll gladly help you guys. But like if something happens to your sensor and like it destroys it, you know, I'm just kind of like giving you an idea of how to clean it. This is a, you know, this is not my fault if you guys uh, damage your sensor. Just be very careful when you're cleaning it or if you don't feel comfortable you can go ahead and send it to your manufacturer and I'm pretty sure they'll clean your sensor for you professionally but this way it's a lot easier and you can get back out there um, on location to photograph um, what you guys are shooting so that's it for this time being I hope you enjoyed it and if you did you know what to do hit that like button yes <laughs> And if you want to see more of the videos that I produce, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button too. Yes! But you guys are awesome. Stay awesome. And I will see you all in the next video. See ya.